Come on. Who's got it? Oh, there is something back there. Yes. There is something back there. There's uh, sparkly borders. I see them. What's going on guys? Excuse the voice. As you can kind of tell, I am sick. I've been sick for about three days, but I'm feeling a lot better. So I left my lair and I'm gonna be going to pick up something off Facebook Marketplace. This lady had posted up a scooter and I asked her if she had any video games lying around and she said that she did. Not only does she have some video games for us, she also has some Pokemon cards for us. And you guys know that I love Pokemon cards. So basically she sent me some photos. They're kind of brief, but the photos were a 3DS XL that was really scratched up and then maybe 15 games. She was asking $30 for the 3DS since it's just so badly damaged. The whole top of it's all scratched up and then $5 per game. And we settled on a price of $150 for that stuff. And then she also sent me two more photos of the Pokemon binders, but she only sent me what the binders look like and nothing on the inside. So I'm blindly buying those for $100 and hopefully there's something good in there. I seriously can't hear anything right now. I have like some head congestion going on and both of my ears are plugged up so I sound like completely different than I usually do and I literally like can't hear out of my ears I was trying to listen to music earlier and it sounded super weird so yeah unfortunately I was sick for three days but I'm feeling a lot better so that's why we're gonna go pick this stuff up I'm about to pull up to the gas station right now because I need to get some gas this lady's about 40 minutes away so it's about an hour and a half round trip and I'm really gambling on if these Pokemon card binders are worth it. I am blindly buying them for $100, so I really hope there's something good inside. Let's hope for a miracle with these binders, otherwise I'm gonna be out some money and a lot of my time. So I'll see you guys once I get there. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Are you Melissa? Yes, I am. I'm Chris. This is Rigby, my son. Nice, <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to He's meet you. He's actually the owner of the Pokemon. Oh, he, you're the owner? <laughs> yeah. Cool. Collecting them for I a few actually years. found yeah. five more of the, the DS games, so I just threw them in there. Oh, cool. Yeah. You said uh, 250, right? Yeah. Cool. Thank I appreciate you. it. Not a problem. Yeah, enjoy. Enjoy, enjoy. Thank you. Yeah, they're definitely going to get some use. So. Yeah, he because actually has some of them. With every one of those. Cool. Uh, yeah. DS. Awesome. Yeah, he loves the Pokemon card. Thank put, you guys. I did put the charger cord in the case for the game system. Okay, the charger's in there? And everything yeah. works. Okay, cool. I appreciate it. I didn't get any information off of it. I don't know how to do all that. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. I can factory reset it. You guys enjoy your day, though. You too. Enjoy. Nice to meet you, too. All right, so I just got home. I took a hot shower and just drank a ton of Dayquil. So let's get this party started. So I paid $250 for everything. And I guess all of this stuff was belonging to the sun. And by the way, the sun had some like bright green long hair, which I thought was really cool. It's not relevant, but I just thought I'd throw that out there. Thought it was cool. And apparently this was all of his stuff and he's selling it off, probably funding something new. This is probably his old DS collection as well as his old Pokemon card collection. And yeah, like I said, we paid $250 for everything. It was really cool. The family was really cool. They were really nice. And I'm glad everything worked out. So I have not looked through the Pokemon card binders at all. I've been waiting just to get my live reaction on camera after the shower. And obviously I can see all of the DS games. There's some pretty good titles in here actually. Some really decent titles, a lot of Pokemon titles. A lot of this is probably going to go to Phoenix Resale and his resale business because he pays some decent money for titles. Um, if you don't know, just check him out, send him some stuff, make sure it's mint condition because that's what he's looking for. And he'll pay some decent prices, about eBay prices if you're a reseller. So make sure you check out Phoenix Resale and sell him some stuff. We also got this uh, 3DS XL. I think this is the new 3DS XL. It does have some wear on it, so I can't send that to him, but it still sells for a lot of money, even though it has wear on it. But I guess new 3DS XLs are really in demand right now, especially with Christmas coming up. So they sell for some good money, but let's get into the games. I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got and I'll put the prices on the screen for you. We got Super Mario 3D Land. 
We got Animal Crossing, Happy Home Designer. We got Gardening Mama 2, Forest Friends. Tetris Axis. We got One Piece, Unlimited World. The Regular Show. Angry Birds Trilogy. Got Pokemon Moon. Got Adventure Time. I'm gonna move these binders because they're resting on all the games. Got Pokemon, Pokemon Omega Ruby. Man, that day kill, that day quill, <laughs> that day quill's kicking in, right? Scribble knots. Got Naruto, powerful Shippuden. Pokemon Art Academy. I've never seen that. I bet that goes for some decent money. Ultimate NES Remix. Tamodachi Life. I think this is an expensive game. Mario Kart 7. Got Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. Animal Crossing New Leaf. Another copy of Animal Crossing New Leaf. Pokemon X. And then we got Pokemon Y. Let's see what's in this DS case. We got the DS. We got a third party charger in there. But yeah, this is the damage on the DS, if you could see it. It just looks like a clear coat flaking. At least that's what I think it is. The bottom's good. New Nintendo 3DS XL. Just that clear coat flaking right there. And the screens are good. Power's on, no issues. Yeah, this, uh, this is cosmetically flawed, but still should sell for good money. I think these sell for like $225 in good condition. So yeah, this one might sell for like 170, maybe 180. All right, so before we move on, just in these 3DS games that we have right here, we have about $400 of value. And then the 3DS itself, probably 175. So after fees and everything like that, I would say we have close to about $500 of value and we paid $250 for everything. So we already doubled our money. So whatever's in here is just gonna be more profit. And there could be good stuff in here, there could be bad stuff, we just took the risk. And like I said, it's no way to run a business by risking money all the time. But I think like it was $100 for this stuff, so it's not too bad of a risk, but we might hit it big, we might not, we'll see. We already made our money back. Super cool nonetheless to go through Pokemon cards blindly. So without further ado, let's start digging through these binders. All right, so I'm gonna start with the blue binder. As you can see, it's upside down and we have this one mega card right here, Metagross EX. And let's just start digging through here. Let's see if we can find something cool. It kind of looks like newer cards, I would say 2013-ish. That guy looked to be maybe 30 years old. So I assume there'd be some older stuff in here, hopefully. Uh, I'm not really seeing much. Everything looks um, to be organized though by their energy type. Oh, we got a Deoxys card. Deoxys, Strength Charm. It's a trainer card, but it's a hollow card from Deoxys. Put that to the side. There's some older cards, but they're freaking energy cards. There we go, another hollow, another hollow too. They're all uh, trainers. We got a Versus Seeker. Got a Citrus Fairy. Those are really uh, pretty holographic cards, even though they're trainers, but those EX series cards are really good. I'm seeing some older cards 
Then there's a lot of like 2013, 2014 cards. And who knows, he could have taken all of the good stuff out of these binders, which most people do do that. So now we're on to electric type. That looks like a heart gold soul silver card. Yeah, it's not looking good. We got a Delta species Charmeleon and then we got this Zekrom right here. And Pharos. There is some hollows, but there's an older card. Team Rocket returns. It's not looking good. It's not looking good at all. It's a promo card. Blissey. Yeah, there, there's holographics, there's older cards, nothing special. I think that that guy probably took all the good cards out. Oh, there is a Charizard. Reverse Hollow Charizard. I don't remember what set this is from. Wow, that's cool. All right, we're in the fire type, so let's see some more. Uh, nope, that's it. <laughs> That was it. There's a Holland Phantoms Anorith. Super cool. I love those reverse hollows. That looks like a fake Metagross. Espeon. Giratina. Unless all the holographic cards and like the ultra rares are at the end, there's a Duskinor. Uh, I don't think that this gamble is gonna pay off. Oh, there's a Cradley. There we go. Something good for once. It looks like it's crease though. Here's the Cradley. There is a crease in it, if you can see it, but holographic. There's a Venusaur. Yeah, that was the first binder. There really wasn't anything in there. All right, so hopefully binder two has all of the ultra rares because so far there's really nothing in this collection that shows that there still is good cards in these binders. And that's unfortunate. However, I'm not mad. It's still fun to go through this stuff. And if you see right here, there is a Voltorb and that's a shiny Voltorb. I think that's from Stormfront. I remember these cards but I think this card right here is worth a decent bit. So not mad at all about that. It looks to be in extremely good condition. So I'm gonna set that to the side. That card is probably like $30 maybe, but let's keep looking. Let's hope to find something cool, but if we don't, totally fine, because we already made our money back. It's just fun to look through here. Looks like they're all newer cards, like 20, 11, 2012, 2013, there's a Rhyperior. Oh, it's, I thought that was fake, but it is real. Yeah, that is, uh, is it real? I don't know. I think that's from Mysterious Treasures. Yeah, not a whole lot. Going on, oh, here we go, Torterra. This is from Stormfront. Holographic Torterra, that's in good condition. Cool to see that. 
it's like a mixture. I would consider a lot of these newer, even though they're from like 2013. There's an Umbreon, two Umbreons. I really hope that uh, all the good cards are at the end of this binder because there was nothing in the other one. Here we go, we got some fire. Where is the lizard that breathes fire? The big dragon lizard, here we go, we got a Flareon. This is uh, from the blister packs, I remember this Flareon uh, pop card. Very, very cool. Come on, where's the, where's the dragon? Yeah, that looks like all of the, the fire type. That card's not even in the binder, but there's really nothing in there. It's Garchomp, Gibble, Salamence. This is cool. More Garchomps, White Kiram. I don't know if that card's worth anything. Okay, water type, Piplup. Oh, here's another uh, pop card. Cool. Vaporeon. Yeah. Oh, that's got some damage on the back. Super cool. We did find quite a bit of uh, holographic cards, so kind of happy about that. Oh, these look like all trainer cards. There's a, I don't know if this is an ultra, oh, it's a secret rare trainer. Random receiver, that'll get in focus. Random receiver, yeah, I don't think it's gonna focus. Sue holographic. G booster. There is some like older, there's a lot of older trainer cards in here. There we go, there's another one. Magnetic Storm. I think this is Unseen Forces, maybe, Hidden Legends. They're just so nice. Yeah, sorry guys if the camera is not going in focus because of the hollow foil. That looks like the end of the binder because it's just trainer cards and energies. Delta species. Super scoop up. That's cool. Come on. Who's got it? Oh, there is something back there. Yes. There is something back there. There's uh, sparkly borders. I see them. Please be vintage EX cards, please. Oh man. Oh my God. This is level X, level X's, level X galore. And we got some Charizards too. Oh my gosh. There, I didn't see many evolution cards in there, but we got evolutions Charizards. There's a reverse and we have the actual hollow. And then we have a Charizard G. That's the Galactic Charizard. It's a promo card. And then we have all of these level X's. Yeah, that's it. I am so happy there's actually something decent in here. That is very, very cool to see. I love level X cards as well because I grew up with Diamond and Pearl and I would pull level X cards from packs. So that is really, really cool to see these. Wow. We've got Rhyperior, Palkia, Infernape. Dialga, Empoleon, Salamence, Heatran, Floatzel. We got the two Evolutions Charizards and then the Charizard G. Let me get all of these out and I'm going to show you guys on camera. All right, so some of these are in sleeves and some of them are not. We got Heatran Level X. That is uh, super cool. Here is the Reverse Hollow Charizard. This one was sleeved up. 
that looks good. The centering's kind of off, but that looks pretty mint. Here's our holographic Charizard. Again, centering looks kind of off, but again, super duper mint. So weird seeing evolution cards in that binder because I didn't really see any evolutions cards. So to see the Charizards, he must've traded for him or something like that. Got Charizard level X. That's not in the best condition. Got Dialga level X. This is a promo card. Thalamus level X. This was pulled from a pack. That's in really good condition. I love Salamence. This was one of my favorite cards. One of my favorite level X's. You got Empoleon level X. Again, this is a promo. You got Rhyperior level X. Promo. Infernape level X. Really good condition. The only acceptable starter back in Diamond and Pearl and Platinum. Last but not least, we got Pelkia G level X. And that's in really good condition as well. What a way to end the video. That binder pulled through for us. We found some decent cards. We got some level X's, we got some Charizards. Again, I really don't recommend blind buying anything. Don't follow in my footsteps. I only do this for entertainment purposes, especially because I know that we had our money just from the 3DS stuff. So I knew that I can splurge a little bit and pay $100 for all of this because if it doesn't work out, we'll still make our money on the games. But yeah, really fun going through this and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. I'm probably gonna be selling every single one of these cards as well as all of these games that you saw in today's video. So if you are interested, please shoot me an email and I will get back to you and we can work something out if you're interested in any of this stuff. But that was an amazing score. It really pulled through at the end with that binder. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was a fun one to make. I love going through Pokemon cards blindly and going through them on camera with you. So it's kind of like you guys are also experiencing it as well as I am. It's just a really cool experience. Again, I really don't recommend to blind buy anything because that is no way to run a business. But I do it for the content and it usually ends up working out well for me. Sometimes I got burned. Sometimes I really, really got lucky, but it all depends. But yeah, I don't recommend doing it, but it was extremely, extremely good that we came out on top today. Really quickly before I end the video, I just wanted to let you guys know to be on the lookout for my next video if it interests you. If anybody's interested in Pokemon card related content, I know I have a lot of it on my channel, but I also do video games and other stuff like that. Be on the lookout for my next video because I'm going to be opening up an Evolving Skies booster box and I'm going to be letting my fans go ahead and buy packs and I'm going to open them live on stream and it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to be opening up packs and there's going to be an extra reward in it for you guys. So make sure you watch that video to see what that entails. If anybody is interested in actually buying packs for the stream, go ahead and send me an email. I'm going to leave it down in the description below. Just send me an email and caption it, Pokemon Packs or Evolving Skies or something along the lines of that. It's not officially out yet, but when you see my next video come out, which is very, very soon, it's going to be official. So if you guys want to get a head start on that, go ahead and send me an email. That's going to do it for today's video, though. I really appreciate you guys watching it, and I will see you in the next one.